Who are the eagles? Why do eagles gather? These are the questions that need to be answered. And where could I find the answers? The answers could be found from the voices within myself and you, within yourselves. The voices from within describe eagles as a native tribe with strong leadership skills. In the seven teachings, the eagles represent love, so the eagles carry immense love. The eagles, being the, the leader of all birds, are like our leaders and elders. They lead us to our way. They inspire us to move forward and fly to greater heights. They serve as our role models. They lead by good examples. They simply walk their talk. As to eagles, they fly their sky. The eagles, just like our leaders, gather to discuss about problems in our community. They meet in order to find a solution to our problems. They gather about, <clears throat> they talk about our schools and education systems. They talk about what should be done. They gather, not, they gather not to blame each other or put their blame to one another, but to help each other. They do this not just because they are leaders, but certainly because they are good leaders. A good leader is someone who takes care of the people and who is willing to serve more than to be served. He listens to his people and speaks for them. He is well loved, he's well loved, respected, and honored, just like an eagle who has a authority over the convocation. A good leader also educates his people. He recognizes that education is important to have a healthy community. He has a, he has a skill to lead his people to their full potentials. He has the keen eyes of an eagle that can see hope beyond those who are intoxicated. He has those ears who can hear the cries of every baby and child under the care of CFS. He has the heart to feel the pain of his people and the backbone to lead them out of the situation. There is indeed a great demand for good and strong leadership, especially in education. Our leaders are aware of these problems that are confronting our people. Who hasn't encountered, encountered a dysfunctional family because of substance abuse? Who has not heard of those cries from kids who long for their parents? Love and care. Who has not heard of, the, heard of those missing abor aboriginal women who might have to keep their silence in the grave? Who has not felt the stigma of racism, labeling, and discrimination? Who could ignore these crimes of utmost gravity? The problems are right before us. Even if life is hard, we can overcome. If the school is a place where future community leaders meet, then it is an ideal place to nurture and train leaders. If the school fails, the community fails as well. If we don't care, then who will?